Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be comparing two popular at-home skin devices, the Miro S1 and the Amiro R3 Turbo. Both use radio frequency microcurrent technologies to improve the look of your skin. So which one of these are better? That's what I'm going to hope to determine today through a head-to-head -head view of their features, results comparison, before and afters, and more. I'm gonna break down their key differences like their modes, intensities, ease of use, and the price to help you decide which of these top-rated devices are the right investment for your individual skin goals and concerns. So let's get started. I've done a whole review on the S1 and before and after photos, so check out for more detailed information on the S1. If you have any of the Amiro devices, please let us know in the comment section below and let us know how you like them. Hello everyone, my name is Jody Lynn and thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, I have made changes in my skin with a good skincare routine, SPF daily and the help of beauty devices, particularly microcurrent and radio frequency. No, not with the Amiro. However, the technology that I used was microcurrent and radio frequency, and that was three and a half years ago. So I talk about how to take care of the skin at home with a good skincare routine, SPF daily, and the help of beauty devices. I do a lot of beauty device reviews, skincare reviews, and a lot of before and afters. And honestly, at 52 years old, I feel that this is the best shape my skin has ever been in, in my life. So I'm, I'm very happy and I'm telling you beauty devices work. So I would love to have you. So let's talk about what these devices do. They are both microcurrent facial devices that use fractional rotation RF technology where radio frequency waves heats the dermis of the skin enough heat is applied to the skin to cause enough stress that is going to build collagen. Both devices have microcurrent. I want to call it electric muscle stimulation because it's really more EMS technology paired with the radio frequency. So either of these devices, you are not able to just have RF alone. Just make note of that. It is EMS with RF. EMS is electric muscle stimulation that is going to help tone the muscles. And think of EMS as really like your weight training workout and radio frequency is your cardio. EMS is going to help to tone the muscle and the radio frequency helps at the skin layer. And no radio frequency at home devices anyway are not going to melt your facial fat. If they did, it would have shown on my skin as I've been using the technology for over three and a half years. So no need to worry about that. In office, radio frequency is much different. Both devices also feature advanced safety features for ensuring that you are not going to burn your face. And they both also go to 40 degrees Celsius, which is 107.6 Fahrenheit. That is really important because you need to have the skin at that temperature to be able to create enough stress to be able to build collagen. And they also have smart indication systems that guide you with intuitive vibrations and LED lights. Both have a 90 day money back guarantee. Both are free shipping, one year warranty, and both are at 15 watts. And they have passed multiple certifications and both have clinical trials. Both are also compact and easy to travel with. And they are cordless and rechargeable. They can also be used on any skin type and tone as long as there's no contraindications or medical conditions that would prevent the use of electric muscle stimulation. Please check out their manual, which is online under specifications that will tell you any contraindications that you need to be mindful of. So how are these devices different? This one, the S1, is actually a stamping motion where this one is your smooth radio frequency technology. 
So stamping is actually a superior technique for anti-aging devices that increases energy concentration and enhances the device's effects. Smooth is more of a gentle technique that covers more surface area and provides a more even distribution of energy. If you go in office, a lot of the radio frequency devices, professional radio frequency devices that are a lot more high powered, usually have a stamping technique. And I think that you're going to see more and more stamping techniques at home devices because that's really where they're going for the future. Let's talk about the modes of these devices. So the S1 has two modes. They have the daily and the depth mode. The daily is a quick maintenance mode that's only four minutes long and you just use their gel. And then the depth mode is usually about five to eight minutes and you're definitely going to want to use their mask and that's what they suggest. You could use their gel, but I really do not suggest that. And that's because again, this is that stamping motion. So you are holding it on your skin for six seconds. After six seconds, it will vibrate, letting you know to pick it up and put it on the next area. That is a long time to have those RF waves on your skin, which is why I really suggest using their masks. And their masks are have great ingredients. Yes, they are pricey, but if you can afford this device, which is pretty pricey, you're probably gonna be able to afford their masks. And you're only gonna use the depth mode about two times a week. So the R3, Turbo actually has three modes. It has the full face where you're going to use, you can use the gel on the full face. It also can be used underneath the eye area, which of course, if you've been following me, you know I love a reading frequency underneath the eye area. It is my absolute favorite technology to be used on those fine lines, wrinkles, and tightening the under eye area skin because that skin underneath here can definitely get very lax and lose its laxicity and it can look really creepy underneath there. And that's why I love radio frequency. So this device, like I said, full face, you can use it. You can also use it underneath the eye and it does have a special mode called V contour mode, which is to sculpt and define the jaw area. Now you can use, they have a mask for this particular area that you can use. You don't need to, you can also use the gel, but they do have that. And if you do, I suggest maybe just using that once or twice a month in case you can definitely use it all the time, the mask. If you, you know, can afford to purchase the masks all the time, then go ahead and use it all the time. But if not, you might just wanna use the mask maybe twice a month, and then you can use the gel on the other times. All right, let's talk about the different power settings. The S1 has three settings of intensity. It has low, medium, and high, and the turbo has five intensities. The price on the S1, as you can see, is much more expensive than the R3 Turbo. And we're gonna talk about why that is in just a moment. Always note that they are always having sales and you can definitely use my discount most of the time on top of sales. Let's talk about like ease of use of these and kind of some things that I notice while using these devices. The EMS on this device, the Turbo, is much more intense than the S1. Now the heat on this device is definitely still there. It's a radio frequency device. And yes, it goes to 107.6 um, degrees, just like this device. However, the EMS is so intense that I think that that's the reason why you're not feeling the heat sensation is because the EMS is so intense. I can only actually get to about 11.2, maybe a three on the jaw area. And I've been using EMS for a really long time. So it is much more intense than this one. The EMS on this is very light and faint. You barely feel the EMS. However, you feel the heat. The heat on this one is much more of a sensation, I guess. And like I said, it is going to the same degree temperature as this one. But I think the reason that you can really feel the heat on this one is because the EMS intensity is so much more, not as intense. So the sensation on the face you're feeling much more of the heat. Also, you cannot 
turn off EMS on either of these devices. That's really important to know because if you don't like any type of facial stimulation, then you're probably not gonna want to purchase these devices because you will definitely feel something. The R3 Pro definitely lasts much longer with battery. This one, I felt like I had to charge about every fourth time. This is about every eight to 10 times. Both I found to be very easy to use. They both vibrate to let you know to go to the next area, which I love, so no need to have a timer out. Let's look at my before and afters because what's really important for you is to note that's my expectation is if I can maintain my results. Again, like I've said, I've used radio frequency and EMS microcurrent for over three and a half years. So at this point, my skin, to me anyway, looks pretty good and I'm happy with it and I'm just looking to maintain my results. Or of course, if there's any improvement, I will definitely be very happy. Let's go ahead and look at my results. This is for the S1 in the before photo in these sets of photos. I actually took a break off from radio frequency for two weeks. And as you can see, my face kind of dropped rather quickly. And I really think that the reason for that is because I'm postmenopausal and I'm not able to go on hormone replacement therapy. And we all know that estrogen does wonderful things to the skin, amongst other things. Because I'm really pretty much deficient on estrogen, I think that that's why my face drops so quickly. So I feel like you can really definitely see the difference in the S1 compared to my before. So now let's look at the R3 Turbo before and afters. And I definitely feel like I've been able to maintain my results. I feel that both of these are definitely very effective. What is my preference? I personally love the stamping motion on the S1. I love the targeted radio frequency in that particular area. And I think that that's gonna be great for if you have more advanced signs of aging. If you are just starting to see those signs of aging, then I think that this one is going to be enough for you. I don't think that you're going to need the S1. The thing I don't like about this is that there's no radio frequency for underneath the eye. So you would have to purchase a radio frequency device on its own. And Amiro does have a dedicated RFI device and that is what this one is. I absolutely love this, but this one has that RF underneath the eye mode. So if you are just already loving your face and you really want to just kind of maintain your results, you may want to go with this one because it also has the RF underneath the eye. Or if you are someone that gets professional treatments in office, you may only need this device to help to maintain your results and to prolong your treatments instead of getting them every three to four months. If you use this, it may last you anywhere from eight to nine months where you won't even need to, or you may not even need to get office procedures. It really kind of depends obviously in your expectation. So that is my comparison on these two devices. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss my upcoming videos. Until next time.